One of the key issues is that uh, very often uh, people and policymakers feel very punitively toward people involved in drugs and the drug trade, and certainly many low-level dealers are, uh, are users themselves and are financing their habit, and, uh, and, and uh, perhaps an overly harsh response uh, to these kinds of individuals has been uh, too common, and by uh, imprisoning them, uh, ultimately they're going to be released. Uh, we haven't uh, built their skills, we haven't treated them, and many of them are going to return to this kind of life. I think we've, we've seen a significant increase in, um, in, in opiate addiction, hence the reason we now have these specialty courts, because these specialty courts are online to de deal with substance issues. The first thing we do is make sure that they're safe, and um, and I think I, I understand the whole accountability thing, and I think that's what ultimately probation is about. But on the pretrial side, what we try to do is get them into treatment and away from the drug, and that often involves incarceration, and also and often involves a loss of freedom, um, whether it's on a Section 35 petition where they are civilly committed, or whether it's on a bail where they've had a history of defaulting because. Um, you know, they've, they've just got a, sort of an out-of-control lifestyle and they just can't keep up with their court dates, so they are collecting defaults. They're ultimately going to be jailed. Once they're inside of a place, they are away from the drug, we hope, at least in large part, and then, um, then we can begin the process of putting together um, a program if they decide to go on to probation or they ultimately are found responsible or found um, guilty or they accept responsibility and we continue the case without a finding, we will fashion a probation model that will, will weave in uh, many different support systems. So I think you're going to see, um, you know, all kinds of sessions like this popping up. And I think it's a good thing um, because the recidivism studies that we have seen show that those that are involved in what we call in intense judicial supervision or intense probation supervision, the recidivism rates are, um, are much lower for those that are involved in specialty courts. So it's, it's evidence-based. It's not, we're not just doing it because we think it works or because we like the way it feels. We're doing it because the evidence shows that it does work.